my journey in music started off when I was very young through listening to different styles of music from my parents. My dad had keyboards around the house. He used to make music and be in a few bands. So I was always playing on the keyboards. He always used to push me. I think he kind of knew that I had some sort of musical talent in me. Yeah, when I left school, after finishing GCSE music, I did a BTEC in music. Learned a lot about recording, using different mics, compression, EQ and stuff like that. So that really helped later on. And then after the two years, kind of when I started uni, that's when music started taking off a lot. I was getting a lot more bookings, a lot more production requests. I was at the record shops buying records, playing at clubs and parties, but then a lot of the other DJs were playing the same songs. So what I'd have to do is either make edits or make my own music. CDJs weren't about, so it was just turntables. So to get your song onto a vinyl, you had to cut it onto a dub plate. So I'd have to just go to different cutting houses around the country. London, Music House, that was a big one for me. Press dub plates onto 10 inch acetates. Then I'd have the vinyls to play in the clubs. The fact of seeing your own song on a dub plate was just amazing for me. And then actually playing it on my deck as well. Can't beat that feeling. I discovered Garage through like mix CDs and tape packs at the time. I, I remember seeing like all these cases that looked like videos, but they weren't videos. I opened them up and there was loads of tapes and I was just amazed by that. Started listening to them. And the music on there was that grabbing. I just, I've just been hooked ever since. For me, Bassline's always been an offshoot of Garage. I think at the time when the scene kind of split, grime was very London centric. So I think people outside of London gravitated towards the more 4-4, Garage sound more because it was similar to house as well, like the speed garage stuff that was big up north. Like originally, their niche was house and the speed garage, but because the 4 4 garage stuff heavily took influence from speed garage, that sound kind of creeped its way into niche, and that's how my sound got into there, I guess. I think it started off as a Sheffield, Leeds, Bradford thing, but slowly trickle to the rest of the country, like the Midlands, Manchester's. So by 2006, 2007, it was more or less everywhere except London. When Heartbroken came out at the end of 2007, I think it did a, it had a big summer in 2006, 2007 in all the party islands. And then when everyone came back, everyone was just talking about this one song and this whole baseline scene. But from like 2008, I think that was the peak time for original baseline and it kind of died down 2010. But then between 2012 and 14, you had an emergence of younger producers that was coming through who was influenced by that sound. So it kind of worked hand in hand. And then from then, I've just been producing and DJing and I'm where I am today. <laughs>